good morning, good Saturday morning to you. This is uh, my time. Early in the morning, to come out and water the garden. I drink my coffee and uh, see what's going on with the garden. So I figured this would be a good time while I'm by myself watching this beautiful sunrise on Saturday to ask a few questions, address a few things, and figure out where my channel is going to go. So, with your help, guys, we're going to go through that. So, let me grab my garden hose, and we'll go water the first plant. How's that? Y'all, come on. So the first plant that we're going to talk about is our cucamelons. They're producing a small uh, fruit, but then the fruit dies off real quick. So I need some advice on what may be happening. I'm going to give you a good look at everything, and then you tell me what's going on. All right, so here is the actual cucamelon itself we kind of go through you can see some of the flowers it's working they are flowering they are producing quite a few fruits but then the fruits just don't produce any further than this and they basically just fall off they just fall off and die and I'm wondering what that could be so if you have any ideas give me a shout in the comment section please I'm gonna kind of back up and this is the way we have it set up to me it's growing pretty well it's doing pretty good all right that's our first plant of the day these are the wise tomatoes plants these are the ones we have in containers. We're going to try to grow these in containers. Which is pretty cool, I think. We've been having a lot of uh, insect issues with these little worms. Um, they're pretty much prevalently everywhere. I'm trying to find one for you. My wife can spot them really really quick and I, I'm blind and one I can't see out of the other so let's water these real quick and then I'll take you to the next set of tomato plants these are the herbs made this little wagon looking thing and put our herbs in so I've got some rosemary some basil, sweet basil, and some parsley and some thyme. This is a, a kind of a look in the backyard of our garden. This is coming off the corner of our house. Don't mind the black hose. That's a drainage pipe I need to put in. Hey guys, this is our corn against a fence excuse me the air conditioner is right behind me if you can barely hear me um, we've already pulled a couple of ears off that were delicious uh, this is some sweet corn and silver corn and we're going to probably can most of this or freeze it um, it's awesome. It's really, really good stuff. Um, I'm, this is like our first or second time growing corn. So the string that you see down the line here, we had uh, some storms come through. And it kind of laid a couple of the uh, stalks over. So my wife um, decided to, it would be a good idea to put some string up. And it's worked out pretty daggum good. The, the stalks have not moved over. We've had a few storms after that. They haven't laid over. Um, I 
and they, they stayed up. This is going to be over here is going to be our tomato plants that we're having a major issue with. Um, these are store-bought tomato plants um, that are, uh, I think these are the, yeah, these are the red beefsteaks. They uh, are slow growing. I mean, extremely slow growing. These were planted at the same time Goliath here was planted. Um, but the Goliath one came from seed. We bought some seeds and my wife planted these seeds and that's what we are growing from seed. Um, which doesn't make any sense because this thing is probably well over eight feet tall seven to eight feet tall and it's still flowering producing uh fruit like crazy these little cherry tomatoes are everywhere so we know we can grow those the basil's doing good now this is a beef steak or a big boy now excuse me this is either a big boy or a better boy um tomato plant but it's dying off on the bottom we're cutting the leaves off the bottom um, I think this plant just about had it and the problem with this one is um, again the store bought you know and I'm wondering if it's the store bought issue or what same plant to your left that is on your right I don't understand these both tomato plants um, those are Roma tomato plants and they're just not doing anything I mean look at where we, we have this infect infestation of these little worms and you can tell they're attacking the plant we've dusted for them which I hate doing uh, so we put these basil plants in there because we were told you know the basil plants will distract or distract or move away from or whatever get rid of the um, worms it didn't work matter of fact they eat the basil too so picking worms on steroids all right so now we're going to come over here this is what remains of our potatoes potatoes did okay i mean it was the first time us growing them we did pretty good i didn't record it like a dummy but sorry amy um this is our onion patch we're gonna we, we're just trying this we built these beds probably in a day packed all the dirt in there and decided hey we're gonna fertilize it real good and plant a bunch of stuff in it if anybody can tell me what to do or what i can do with this please leave some comments this was a supposed to be a satsuma bush um that it's probably about five years old now. Uh, it was given to me when my father passed away. I want to try to keep it. I know it needs to be trimmed. That's a given, right? Um, and I, it's blooming. It's you could tell it's got new fruit. I mean, new new growth on it. I just want it to be a stronger plant. Um, should I have it in the ground? It's supposed to be a pot plant. Uh, I buried it. It's been lasting. It's lasted five years. Um, tell me what kind of stuff that you use for yours if you if you don't mind leave a comment I, I, that I would be interested in knowing how you take care of your Satsuma trees or I was told you you take care of them both the same way so I've been trying to study up and read up on those so then we're gonna go to this plant right here this plant here is I think my worst enemy this is a zucchini plant that has yet to produce a zucchini um, it flowers does great and then dies off again don't know why um, before you say that you know the the flowers aren't getting pollinated and all this other stuff which is a thing I'm going to talk to y'all about later we've cut these back you can tell um, where we've cut to get air circulation in here the uh, and get the bees in there but nothing I mean it still does the same thing these are some 
speckled butter beans. We are getting plenty of speckled butter beans off that. It's going to be great for our little homestead or our little house. I said homestead, but we're going to talk about that too. This is some yellow wax beans. Um, I think they're on their end cycle, um, but let me know what you think, or is it a nutrition thing? Um, they have produced a ton of yellow wax beans. Um, let me try to get one in here like this. Um, and we mix those with some other beans on the other side here with these green beans and they are phenomenal uh, both the green beans and the wax beans and the speckled butter beans and the cow peas which are in the middle right here were all grown from seed so um which i think is pretty good um considering we didn't know what we were doing i really got to figure out why my my phone just automatically stops recording on its own it's a bad phone bad long history behind that um so anyway that's where we're at with our garden um we are very urban um area we have a yard large yard but we're very urban um we're our street is right next to or is a off street of the one of the main streets in lake charles so um, we don't have a whole lot of room to expand, if you will. I uh, would love to get the property behind me and expand, but that's, that's another thing, another said, another hopeful event. Um, my other question is, and maybe some of you guys can help me with this, is bees. We're looking to see if we can possibly have a small colony of bees local. To me, a lot of our issues here, I don't see the honeybees here anymore. Um, used to be you couldn't get them off your garden. Now, we can't find them this year. They're just nowhere to be found. Um, we didn't have a good winter as far as a cold winter um, here. It got cold a couple times, but not like a good winter. So I'm wondering if, which tells me we're gonna have a bad summer. Um, so I'm just wondering if, if, if that might be a situation. Comment below. Let me know. Um, I'm looking for interaction with this, with this channel. I'm looking for information um, on different things that we can do, not only with our garden, but just in general uh, activities with the family. Uh, what do you do? What, do you, what do you guys do as a vacation, as a family get-together? Be it at home. Um, or do you go on trips all the time? Where do y'all go? Um, my, our goal is to try to get Braden, our son, to every state um, before he graduates. It's just one of those things that we want to try to do. Um, um, this is the thing I might do every Saturday. I'm not sure. We're going to call this one uh, Saturday Morning Garden. Let's call it the Saturday Morning Garden Talk. That would be great. That's a good little act. That, that if it, nobody has that, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, and we're gonna do because my best times to walk you guys through the garden and show you what's changed and what's going on is Saturday mornings. I work Monday through Friday, so when I come home in the afternoons, I have just enough time to tend the garden and pick a few things. And pretty much after that, I'm retired. I'm 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 ready to lay down and I'm beat. So, um, what else? What else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Like I said, this is our, we're trying to get a few videos out. We're trying to fit, get a few videos up, get a few people interested in our channel at least. Uh, give us some feedback on our channel. Uh, tell us what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. Um, how can we make our channel a little bit better to get more people to come in? just to give us some interaction, um, just to get some some views and some talks, if you will. Open up to some discussions. Um, that's my big thing, networking. Um, Miss Amy has pushed me to get more videos out there, so I'm trying to come up with some ideas. 
and this is one of my ideas. Um, if you don't like it, say you don't like it. If you think it might be a good little thing, let's 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 work on it. Then Saturday morning garden talk. Um, I like that. Let's see, and it doesn't have to. Talk, we don't have to talk about the garden either. We can talk about all kind of other things. Um, what else? I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to sign off. Uh, help us out if you can. Get us some information. Um, comment in the links below or in below. Follow us on Facebook. We're going to do Facebook and Instagram. Um, that was Braden's idea. Okay. Um, he's still sleeping. So, anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, Saturday morning garden talk, I think that might work, sounds good in my head anyway, um, get with, get with your friends, if you know any of the con or answers to some of the, my questions on my garden, please comment, if you don't, like I said, get with somebody else. I think I repeated that. That's 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 not repeat that. Um Y'all have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. Enjoy it. Be with your family. Live, love and laugh. Later dog. <laughs>